High atop Apple Orchard Mountain, not far from the Blue Ridge Parkway, is a tower that looks like a huge golf ball on top of the mountain. And tonight, for a new segment we're calling Positively Virginia, I set out to find out what it is and learn that what it was is just as interesting. It sits atop the highest point along the entire Blue Ridge Parkway in Virginia, a tower that looks like a golf ball. Major, could you tell us the purpose of your mission here on uh, Apple Orchard Mountain? It takes a bit of a trip back in time to understand what we're seeing today. Footage from the 10 News Archives tells the story. The story of what was once the 649th Airborne Control and Warning Squadron, an Air Force base on top of the mountain, home to as many as 200 troops at one time. During the Cold War, it was a part of the nation's early warning system. The mission of the Air Defense Command is to detect and destroy any enemy air attack, and we are the detecting agency. At one time, there were three of those golf balls on the side of the mountain, along with barracks and support systems for the small base. So the Air Force Base was really great to have this close to town. Jennifer Thompson with the Bedford Museum has gathered clippings about the base over the years. So anything that you would find on a military base, just smaller. The base offered a two-lane bowling alley and other amenities to keep the men entertained. But accounts from those stationed there indicate it was boring atop the mountain, so they went to town whenever they could. The story is that if it wasn't for the Air Force Base, a lot of the local women wouldn't be married today. The public was fascinated with the technology, and archival footage shows tours being given, complete with a Coca-Cola stand. But in 1975, the Air Force closed the base and handed control of the tower to the FAA, which still runs it today. And though the public may have been welcome during the Cold War, that is not the case today. The road is closed to the public, and the FAA denied our request for a tour. But it turns out there is a well-known back entrance called the Appalachian Trail. All right, so we're going to hike up and see if we can't find this uh, radar station and get a closer picture of it. We're going in at Sunset Fields off the Blue Ridge Parkway. It would not be as easy as driving to the site, but the sun was shining, the trillium were in bloom, and I was determined to get a look at that tower. It's about two miles uphill over some rocky terrain. Near the top, a gnarly growth of trees looks like something from the enchanted forest. But a few steps more, and there was the golf ball. There it is. The trail goes right by the tower. It kind of looks like a big soccer ball. In fact, a through hiker from Indiana was eating lunch right next to it. Now, are you surprised you're in the woods? I mean, you're in the middle, you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere and you come around a corner and here it is? Uh, not too surprised. We have a little guide that tells us what's coming ahead on the trail. Aside from uh, Keegan the hiker, there appeared to be no one else there. I walked around and took photos and video, staying outside the fence as the sign suggested. The official word from the FAA is that it is a long-range radar tower. The dome covers the radar unit to protect it from the mountain's high winds. The site tracks aircraft for hundreds of miles around Roanoke. Long gone are the barracks and other buildings that for 20 years housed the mountain's mini Air Force base. All that remains is that big ball and a couple of small buildings, seen from afar by people all over the region and up close by the occasional hiker on the Appalachian Trail. So with that, did they ever detect any kind of enemy aircraft? Well, they had these things all over the country mm -hmm. at the time. And I talked to a guy today who served in the military, not at our particular site, but he said uh, only in Alaska where the Russians were kind of nearby. Okay. But as far as he knew, uh, there had not been any enemy aircraft that tried to penetrate this site. But they were there for 20 years on yeah. top of that mountain. Oh, my goodness. That's really, really interesting. Interesting. Who knew? Right. right. There you go.